Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where today I'm going to take a look at the New York Times hard Sudoku. Um, and what I wanted to do today was to take a look at this with regard to the tip that I gave uh, a couple of videos ago, uh, particularly in relation to the New York Times puzzle, but um, comes up all the time. And that's the, the tip was basically around trying to get our minds to focus less on rows and columns in a Sudoku and comparing the contents of rows and columns, and more to think about comparing the contents of rows and columns with the contents of three by three blocks. And this is something that um, we're all bad at, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm certainly guilty, but I have trained my mind over time to look for opportunities to compare the contents of rows with the contents of blocks and likewise columns and especially with the New York Times hard puzzle this is a massively powerful technique because over and over again they like to put these hidden triples in this puzzle which makes uh, there it's hard to spot these by by reference to standard notation um, but if you get good at sort of comparing blocks and rows and columns you can spot them very easily so that's enough from me let's have a look at this puzzle so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a grid stare. I'm not going to start by putting in any numbers. I'm just going to stare at the grid and see if I can see any weak points. So there are, oh, sorry about that. I don't know why it's doing that. There are a couple of things I'm immediately noticing. My mind, my eyes are immediately drawn to this two five and comparing it with this seven three here, because I can see that this forces the two and the five into one of four positions. So that, that's the first thing I saw, and then I'm looking down here to see, is there anything else to restrict the positions of twos and fives? And there, there isn't in this instance. But that, that's the sort of thing I want, I want us to get better at. This is comparing the contents of row one with this block. Similarly, down here, you can see we've got a nine and an eight impacting on this three by three block. It gives us some pencil marks, which I'll put in in a moment, but it doesn't quite blow the puzzle open. We just need one more restriction on this block to do that. Um, but, aha, there you go. If we look at this block, on the other hand, we have the perfect example of what I'm talking about. In row 8, we have the numbers 3, 7 and 2, none of which are appearing in this 3x3 three three block. But the 3, 7 and the 2 are affecting three open cells in the block. And the numbers that we have got in the block are all different. Five, six, and nine. So we have three numbers given, three numbers that are forced out of these three positions. So we now know for certain that the two, three, and the seven are locked into those three squares. And that, straight off the bat, is a massive step forward in terms of solving the puzzle. You can see it forces the 1, 4 and the 8 into these open cells and it's going to give us a whole load of pencil marks. So let's just have a look at what we get from this. Well, first thing is we have a 4 and a 4 here. So, so actually this one will have to be the 4. Oh, not a 3, a 4. That means we can eliminate the 4 from those two squares. Similarly, we have a 2 and a 7 here. So this can be neither a 2 nor a 7. So it'll have to be a 3 which allows us to remove the three from these two positions. And you can immediately see, I think, that what a step forward this is in terms of solving the Sudoku. We have a three now, a three with this three here. That means this is a three. We can pencil mark threes up there. A one here and a one here. So this square here is going to have to be a one. That's the only place a one can go in this block. That gives us a nice 931 triple in this block. Um, now, how can we use that? Well, we can use this 2 to pencil mark 2s there and therefore 2s here. This 5, we know there will be a 5 locked into one of these three squares now. Don't know which one, and therefore I won't pencil mark it. I don't want to put three pencil marks uh, in a block. Um, it's, it's overkill in the New York Times hard puzzle. It's not. It's not necessary to solve it. So, but that means there's a five in one of these two squares. And look, we have a five over here. So the five will have to go into this square. Pencil mark fives as a result. Um, what else can we see? Can we do anything else with the numbers down there? Can't see anything immediate. Um, 
are nines. We have now we can use the nines that I was mentioning earlier. Now there's a nine forced into this square, and that also forces a nine into this square. So we have a nine here and a nine here. Um, that means if we compare this nine and this nine, we can pencil mark nines into one of these two positions. Um, Maybe we can go further, I'm not sure. Ah, now, but this 8 now forces an 8 into this position in this block. So there's an 8 in one of these three squares. Again, I'm just going to try and keep a mental note of that. I don't think it's necessary to pencil mark it. Um, these two squares have to be 4 and 6 in some order. Now, if you look at column 9, where can we place a 7? Uh, you can see. We can't place one here because of this 7, and we know this is a 4 or a 6. So in fact, there's a hidden single there. That must be a 7. Um, that means there's a 7 here, because we have a 7, a 7, and this 7 here. That means this is a 7. That unwinds the 7, 2 pencil mark that we found straight away. So 7 and 2 must be in this order. Let's pencil mark the 7's up there. Pencil mark the twos here. Um, now we have a two and a two. So one of these two squares is a two, and look, there's a two there. Look, so that must be a two. We still need a one for row nine. That must be there. Uh, this is five and six, I think. So let's pencil mark that in. And this must be four and nine. Now all of this has all of this, you know, quite quite decent progress in terms of solving the puzzle it's, it's just as a result of breaking this block open using that trick at the start um, it is so powerful if you get used to doing this um, now threes we have a three here and a three here so what does that mean it means uh, and a three there indeed so this has got to be a three means we can pencil mark threes into one of those two squares um, Now, what else can I see? If we have a look at column two. We've got to place the numbers one, six, eight, and nine. And this square sees a one, a six, and an eight in the row. So that this square here can only be a nine. Um, that means this isn't the nine up here. This must be a nine. That means we can pencil mark nines into the, one of those two positions. Uh, now the threes matter more. Look, we have a three here and a three here. So this three by three block, the threes are forced into one of these two. Oh, no, 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 no. Pencil mark threes, please. There's threes like that. That's lovely because now this can't be a three and this is a three because of our earlier pencil marks. The moment I place the three in here, I can also place the two. Because we know the 2 is in one of two positions. And if one of those positions is taken up by a 3, the other position must be the 2. So let's tidy this up. That's a 3. This is a 2. That means this is a 2 over here. What do we need? We need 4 and 5 to complete row 6. And there's a 4 there. Look, so this, this must be the 4. Oh, wow, this is, this is very powerful now. So... Let's put the 5 in. That means this is a 5. That means the 5s are pencil marked into those two squares. Now, because we've got a 5 9 pair in these two squares, it's no longer possible for this square to be a 2. If, if Let's just think about why. If I did place a 2 here, that would imply that both I had to put the number 5 and the number 9 into this square. Clearly impossible. So, this is not the 2. Therefore, this is the two. That must, uh, oh, and there we get the change of font. That's uh, a peculiarity of the New York Times Sudoku app. That means that we've placed all the twos. Now, I wanted to go back down here. Yes, because we found this four. So that means that this, oops, that's got to be the four now. Therefore, there must be a four here because we've got a four, a four. We can't put a four here because this is a five, nine pair. So this is a four. Four, four, four in one of these two positions, but we still need a four in 
uh, column 7, so this is not a 4, this is the 4 here. Therefore this must be a 6 just to complete the column. That means this is a 6 because there's no other place for a 6 in this block. And so mark 6 is here. Uh, 1 and 8 needed here, so we have a 1 there. Look, so this must be a 1. Pencil mark 1's into these two squares. This is the 8. That means this is an 8. And we still haven't used a 9 that we were able to place here. So now let's put the 9 in and see if that gets us anything. Um, this square must be a 5 or a 6. I feel like we can make more progress here. I'm not seeing the wood for the trees. 1, 5, 9. Um, ah, yes. Okay, sorry. Um, what's going on there? Yeah, okay, this 6, this 6 is what matters. This 6, this 6, 6, 5, 5, 5, 9, like that. Now what do we need down here? We need a 1 and a 9 still, and there's a 9 here. So that's a 9. Up, oh, there's the change of font for the 9s. There's the 1. That means this is a 1. Now combined with this 1, that allows us to pencil mark 1s into these three squares these two squares and this is this is now solved the puzzle is finished because we've now got the one seven pair this can't be a three that means the three is here that means the six is here that means the eight is there this has to be a one this has to be an eight this has to be an eight this has to be a six probably if things are working yes okay now that means this is a six Unwind the 6 and the 4, get some more changes of font. You know, and I'm not doing anything clever at all here. I think you'll agree. This, this All I've done here is solve the puzzle using that initial trick. And there we go. And I get the da -da 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 noise, which means that we've solved it correctly. So I hope this was helpful. Um, it's I think it is a perfect example of how to crack the New York Times hard puzzle just using that little trick at the start to get you started. Please do subscribe if you enjoy the content. We really appreciate that. Um, if any of you are in a position to sponsor us on Patreon, that would be fantastic. Um, we're steadily making our way up towards the point where we're going to release another Okuyama Sudoku video. So thank you very much to those of you who have become patrons. We do appreciate it. I'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.